after Adam and I moved in, it was amazing. Like, you know, belligerent drinking on a constant basis. I'm trying to steer her on the path, you know, a better path because this is just. This is just you're, you're, you're doing the most. I don't know what you're trying to escape. I ended up pregnant. This can't be happening right now. His reaction was... It has nothing to do with the child. Like, that was the start of the downward spiral of our marriage. Last week, there has been a huge drama between Latoya and Adam. I believe they broke up in 2020, well, when they were officially out about it on social media. But not a lot of information was out until now. They have made multiple videos. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight videos and live streams towards each other. There was so much information that I had to make this a whole series. The mess of Latoya and Adam. What we're going to do is go through all of them, pick the main bits, put everything together of timeline of events of everything that happened so you guys have a better understanding of the situation and I will be giving my conclusion. But this is very important. If you guys want me to upload these videos every single day, meaning you're most likely going to get a double upload, I need you to get this video to 5,000 likes. If not, then I'm just going to upload this series when I don't have any videos planned for the day. But if you want to see it every day, make sure to get it to 5,000 likes. Now, for you guys who have no idea who Latoya is, she first started posting videos in 2009 and in 2010, she began her YouTube channel Latoya forever posting comedy skits and jokes to entertain herself and others now I remember back in the day on YouTube I remember seeing her like oh my god this girl is so funny just having such funny content and I believe from there she started doing vlogs eventually with Adam Adam was also like a fitness youtuber or a motivational youtuber at the time and they got together and started vlogging etc I believe this was probably like the first black YouTube couple that I ever remember back in the day I love you I know yeah. I love you too and I got you to know. Now that you roughly know who they are, let's talk about how they met since it is an important part of the story. Okay, so I met Adam at the end of 2011. We were actually Facebook friends. Oh, I had reached out to her early on in my YouTube you know, career and her YouTube career. Um, we both lived in Toronto. And he reached out to me on Facebook. A collab on a video. Wanting to start a team of influencers who uplift and support each other. I was actually attracted to him so we met up and we created a YouTube video together um, which we eventually did for her channel because he was also a youtuber he was like a fitness motivational youtuber and I did comedy we met up and we we hit it off After shooting the video we just kept in touch and organically it just progressed from there Adam and I we had a great connection I think we connected more so on a business level. Now, two weeks after, Latoya and Adam started dating. For some reason, Latoya said that this was quick. Yo, I'll be dating people like two days after. I don't know how that's quick. So I'm guessing they were in a exclusive relationship two weeks in. They really didn't go into detail about this, but that's my assumption. Adam and I started dating probably two weeks after we met. It happened rather quickly. And then six months Months in they moved in together we moved in together April 2012 six months after we met after Adam and I moved in it was amazing like that was the first guy I've ever lived with. You know, we were excited about the move. You know, we went furniture shopping. We bought a two bedroom place. It was absolutely amazing in the beginning. So our relationship was good. He would help me do my YouTube videos. He was a personal trainer as well. Latoya planned and tried to convince Adam to move to LA and they found out she was pregnant with their first baby. We were okay. living together, but she already wanted to make that leap to further her career in that space because that time LA was bubbling you know Vine was popping that time mm -hmm. and all the creators were in LA I felt like Canada wasn't the right place for Adam and I to thrive in the social media world and it seemed exciting to you know move to a new spot 
mm -hmm. um, where, where things are happening and just figure it out. We didn't think we had responsibilities. You know, my dream was to always be on television. She pretty much put my back against the wall. Are you coming kind of thing? You know, I, we were young. I'm like, yeah, let's do it. Um, immediately after arriving, there was a kid already brewing. <laughs> about we found out there's a baby brewing and that's what birthed the part the vlog channel um where she started documenting her pregnancy experience with her friends due to missing videos it's very unclear on when adam and latoya got engaged but four years of dating they end up getting married in 2014. the reason why adam and i got married is because i got pregnant with my firstborn samia back in 2014. both sides of the family pressured us into getting married you know you guys need to be a family you guys need to do things the right way and that is the main reason why adam and i got married and then we got married two years later summer 2015 latoya found out she was pregnant with their second child so latoya was going down the path of uh, you know belligerent drinking and on a constant basis i was a party girl i was always going out with friends you know drinking of course every single weekend i'm trying to steer her on the path and you know a better path because this is just you're, you're doing the most now i don't know what you're trying to escape you know where our lives are you know fantastic like like there's nothing uh, for you to, to be doing all and I ended up pregnant with my son Zane. I took a pregnancy test and I told Adam that, you know, I'm pregnant. And his reaction was something that I never expected in my entire life. This can't be happening right now. You know, like you've been excessively drinking. The angle that I told her was like, hey, there's the potential of alcoholic, you know, fetal syndrome. Here. She knows this. He said, you need to get rid of that baby. I hate you. I don't want to be with you. You know, you're not the woman that I ever want. I don't even know why you're keeping this baby. How dare you ruin my life like this? He was upset that I was pregnant because he felt like it was too soon. You know, I was out there partying, so he thought that the child may be, he thought that the child would have issues because I was drinking. You know, it has nothing to do with the child. It was about the potentiality of what this may cause, and that was my concern about it. And so he was like, you know, you need to have an abortion, and it's just not the time to have another baby. And then it just got toxic from there. But according to Adam, he stepped up to the plate and decided to have the baby with her. We only had this this conversation or this this disagreement of the situation for like 24 hours of shock and then you know it turned into grace and taking responsibility and moving forward with our lives I, it, it takes two to tangle i played a part in this and i stepped up and i said we, we're moving forward like bottom line period that pregnancy took a toll on me you know i just feel like that was the start of the downward spiral of our marriage after that i guess latoya wasn't feeling the romance in their relationship because i want to feel all the feels when it comes to my partner and i won't feel it we have the luxury of stepping back and just kind of like um being able to appreciate one another probably not because we were just dealing with responsibilities always i will always choose responsibility over, over habits that's just my take but just don't feel that connection anyway latoya end up convincing adam starting over again in atlanta which they end up moving to 2018 latoya end up cheating on adam and he ends up finding out and things escalate so one month coming coming into atlanta she's like i'm going on this cruise and i'm like yo we, we, we just moved here what you talking about a cruise right now like we gotta figure this thing all out you want to go party on a cruise for four or five days is you good what's popping you know what i didn't want to be controlling i was like you know what go i'm here with the kids in a new setting whatever i went on a boat cruise i cheated on adam i got physical with a male we didn't have intercourse at all and i just had this gut feeling that something was happening when she comes back adam found out about it someone cued me that something did when i got back from the cruise when i walked in the house i saw him sitting on the couch and he just looked like irate he looked like he was he just looked crazy it kind of scared me because i was like what's going on here and she doesn't even really greet me i went upstairs she goes into the room i went to bed because i was tired after you know where you've been come sit down on this bed right here he came in the room because i was 
I was angry. Like He turned on the light. Are you good in the head? Why would you be laying up in the bed? Get the F out of here. And he grabbed my legs and pulled me, like drug me off the bed, picked me up, shoved me against the wall. He started to like choke me. And the kids ran into the room. They started crying. You know, they were saying, Daddy, take your hand, hands off mommy. What are you doing? You're hurting mommy. And then he took my phone, he smashed it. But according to Adam, he never did that. There was a hustle and tussle. I never striked her, okay? I never put my hand on her. I did not strike you. I did not punch you. I'm pretty much, you know, telling you to get out, get out of the room. That was it. Now, make sure to hit the subscribe with notification because I'll be telling you guys in the conclusion what manipulating tactic that Adam used and if he did or did not choke her. Now, let's continue with the story. And at this point, I was so scared. I was terrified. I literally thought I was going to die that day. I ran at the, out the house. And was she probably scared? Yeah, she probably was. And I was going to like the neighbor's homes and trying to figure out okay can i need to call somebody and the first person i thought to call was my auntie jillian now people would expect you to call the police but i would never call the police on a black man and knowing our status in this country we are green card holders you can literally get deported so i was thinking about his future and not thinking about myself although i should have called the police because he did abuse me physically mentally and emotionally i finally found somebody who was outside and i asked her to use her phone i called my auntie julian i let her know what was going on and then a few minutes later i see adam zane and samia walking towards me and he was telling me to come home come back the kids are screaming mommy mommy come back daddy sorry he's sorry come back i went back in because this is at the time this was in 2018 when we first moved to atlanta and i had nowhere to go i had no family no friends so i went back inside adam and i had a conversation about what transpired on the boat cruise i came clean about it we we moved past that according to latoya she was trying to leave the relationship so adam made her pregnant so she would stay he knows my weakness is alcohol and we got extremely drunk with our friends. I completely blacked out and I woke up the next morning and I didn't even know if I had or not at all. Like I didn't even know if we had intercourse or not. Like so gone for like two days. A few weeks later, Adam comes to me and he's like, I think you're pregnant. And I'm like, what? How? And he was like, well, you've been sleeping a lot. And I'm like, okay. And then he gave me a pregnancy test. He was like, take this test. And so I took the test, gave it to him because whenever I take pregnancy tests, I always give it to him. I'm like, oh my God, I don't want to see it. I don't want to see the result. So I gave it to him and he was like, you're pregnant. He was kind of excited about it. He was like, well, are you ready to like go all in? Are you ready, you know, to just be one, be a family? Like this is a sign from God that you know we need to just be honest and true and be together but according to adam that was not the situation and she came to him telling him that she was pregnant from new year's now she's telling me she's pregnant so i'm thinking like this something happen in the cruise to lead forward to this you know even her family asked her did something really happen in there she denied it you know nothing happened like sorry like nothing intercourse wise happened there i had my my my, my eyebrow up like what you like of course i'm questioning you you know what i'm saying and then she she's telling me that i abused her what, what are you talking about like so is latoya lying about the r uh, allegations or is adam telling the truth make sure to hit the subscribe button with notifications because i'll tell you that in the conclusion so let's continue with the story now the same year according to latoya while she was pregnant adam was cheating on her with a woman he was apparently cheating with a few years back a few years ago i went through adam's phone and i saw him texting a girl inappropriately and i saved her number in my phone in 2019 while i was pregnant with aya i saw messages from a weird weird name and so i opened it up and i started reading messages and he was trying to take this girl to cabo 
girl while I was pregnant. And how I found out it was the same girl is I went in my phone, I put the number in my phone. Her her number was still saved in my contact. So that's how I knew that you were communicating with this girl. And now you're trying to take her on a trip. And then he started, you know, going out with his friends often. And Adam's not that type of person. He started going out and doing his own thing because he knew that I couldn't do that because I was pregnant in 2019. In July the 15th, 2019, Latoya was reportedly joining the Real Housewives of Atlanta season 12. However, it was unsure whether she would join as a full-time cast member or as a guest role. This opportunity for this, this reality show comes into the picture, you know, and I was supportive because yeah, I knew like she was ready to take the ne next step of coming off the internet. Um, so I supported her there. During this time as well, Adam claims that Latoya was getting into a lot of negative situations. She got into a snowball of many, before even I was born, she got into a car accident. Grandma about how you guys were in an accident and she almost bawling, so let her know you guys are good. Yeah, we're okay now. Oh. Hey, where did that thing happen? Ask Milan to tell you about the accident. No, 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 no. Don't tell me about it, please. You guys. But you're okay. You guys are good. You, you guys are good. It was very scary, but we're fine. I know. Did you get hit in your head? Then with this accident with Latoya and them, I knew they were gonna be okay. She even filed for divorce. And then I dropped it because I was going through so many pregnancy complications from placenta privia to preeclampsia, high blood pressure to possibly having a stroke or a seizure or whatever, a car accident. It was just so crazy. So I was like, you know what? I need to drop this divorce because this is just way too much for me to deal with right now while I'm pregnant. Sometime after that, Latoya ends up giving birth to her third child. We're moving on with our lives. The baby comes, you know, and the, our child's name is Aya. Ultimately means a sign. I named the child Aya because you know what? I was like, this is a sign that no matter what, because everybody goes through shit. Ain't nobody perfect. You know, this is a sign right here, you know to just move forward. After giving birth though, more negative things continue to happen in Latoya's life. Then she had preeclampsia. Then she got she gets into a fight with her mom, a fight with her sister, fire an assistant. But I was the one always defending her and bringing awareness of everything. Around February, March, 2020, Latoya brings up about getting a divorce again to Adam. So this year I entertained a divorce with Adam and I told him like, look, we just need to like, Break up, like I can't do this anymore. And I'm like, you're trying me now? Like I've been here for you. Nothing really provoked it. She just felt like the grass is greener. And I'm trying to let her know like, yo, I've been by your side. In fact, like I'll constantly remind, remind her like, yo, I'm by your side. Like you act like you punched it, you know, like you delivered this baby by, you. I'm right by you. I've been there, you know, every step of the way, you know? So I'm thinking like, could this be postpartum? You know, be patient with the situation. And he filed. Cause it was just, it was just out of hand at this point. It's like, I was the one on your corner. <laughs> You're trying me. You clearly are tired of trying to do better. So he gave me what I truly wanted. When I filed a divorce, I told her don't bring that show to me anymore. Around this time, this is when you guys actually hit us up to tell us about the divorce in 2020. They even went as far as to delete the videos on their channel and then Latoya speaks out through an IG post saying, I consider you all to be family and truly love and appreciate the relationship we have built. In an effort to remain transparent and because many of you have asked, I want to share a new development in my life. After six years of marriage and nine years together, Adam and I have decided to get a divorce. I'm not going to sugarcoat things and say this has been easy. Divorce is incredibly difficult, but the silver lining is that the journey to this decision has made me stronger and have helped help me blossom into the woman I am today. I cannot promise a lot because I don't know what the future holds, but I can promise that I will remain positive and I will continue to do what I do best. An amazing mum and role model to my biggest life blessing, Samaya Zzz. <laughs> Zane and Aya. Sorry for the mispronunciation. Thank you for always giving us the love and support. Please keep my family and I in your prayers, Latoya. But he then withdrew the divorce after Latoya had a change of mind and begged him to fix everything. You know, I'm waiting for a divorce to come now, a divorce court to come now. And from the sounds of it, it looks like another opportunity to be on the Real Housewives of Atlanta came. And the only reason why I'm assuming this is because Adam and Latoya mentioned this twice, that they had a opportunity to be in the 
Real Housewives of Atlanta. And because they mentioned it like multiple times, it is very confusing, but it sounds like that they had the opportunity twice. Let me know in the comment section below and why you think it was only offered to them once, but I believe it was actually offered to them twice. And the first time, which was season 12, Latoya didn't enter, but season 13 is the one that Latoya is currently in. And that was the one that was offered up again when he was going to divorce Latoya. You know, the opportunity of the show came. She really is now pleading to me to essentially change my mind. I said, you know what? Let's try to work this out. This is what you want. But it, it, when I filed the divorce, that's when she's trying to change everything. Now she wants this family. Let's see if we can go together, build together, rebuild what we crashed and burned and just try to fix it and be a team. Too late for that. She needed the family and now she was trying to save the marriage because of this show. And I was like, no, no, no. You're not gonna paint me, you're not gonna put me on this show here, pretend like everything is fine when there's a lot of underlying issues here. You know, like real work has to be done here. I'm not just gonna forget everything that has occur according to adam latoya was telling her family that he was blocking her from her dreams and use the two word like you 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 messed you me up you you know you know and and then the narrative that she tried to run with behind the scenes and to her family family is pretty much like i'm blocking her dream well, no i'm not blocking her you this is your desire like this is you, this is what you chose you asked for a divorce you got it what 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 are we talking about and she admitted that she did it for the shark but i have to be true full with myself the only reason reason why I said those things is so that he could be on the show with me. So he dropped the divorce. I went on this, this crazy journey of by myself, just for self-reflection. I come back literally like two, three hours, sorry, three hours before um, before the court hearing. I dropped the case. There was a moment of relief to move on with our lives. But then after that, the next day, Latoya changed her mind again and filed for a divorce the day after Adam dropped the divorce case. She's crying all of a sudden. I see her crying in the car. Literally, the next morning, she's crying in the car and I'm like, what's, what's going on? What happened? She's, she's saying, why is everybody messing with my mental health? Why'd you drop the divorce? I just looked at her. And at that moment, I literally just threw my hand in the air and I surrendered. And then I filed for the divorce and I said, you know what? I'm not going to be in an unhappy marriage, in an unhappy relationship because of a show. This is an opportunity of a lifetime. I'm signing off to look like a deadbeat. You hired a private investigator, you put, you bought a $2,000 tracker, you set that fish in my car. Like, this girl wants a divorce, I'm not gonna give her what she wants. This girl has some guys coaching her on how to get a gun. Adam put a restraining order against me. Y'all, this is, this is kinda weird. Tell them why. 